I am Nathaniel, and this is what you need to know today. We're going to be talking about instant hot water heaters. So I'm going to give you my unbiased opinion as an electrician. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the electric instant hot water heater. These units require a lot of power. So depending on the size of your, of your electrical service is going to depend on whether or not you can have an instant hot water heater installed without the need to upgrade your service. Now I can tell you from my experience, the majority of my customers have had to do a service upgrade because they didn't have the capacity uh, to add an instant hot water heater for their entire home with their existing electrical service. Now I usually deter customers from going that route and installing an electric instant hot water heater uh, on demand hot water heater and the reason for that is just the simple fact of the cost. The cost to install and have a plumber and then have an electrician and then depending on how big the transformer is from the utility company there may be some costs associated there uh, which are going to be passed on to you uh, just to do your instant hot water heater. Uh, some other downside to an instant hot water heater, the electric type, is that when you first turn it on or while it's running, you may notice that your lights may flutter or flicker a little bit. And again, that's all because of the size of the wire coming out to your home, the transformer that's out there, and how big your electrical service is now. So you want to make sure you have an electrician thoroughly look over your system and make sure they're licensed and not just some handyman that's doing this on the side because I've been to those and, and that's, that does never end well. So you don't want an electrical fire at your house. Make sure you double check everything. Now let's move on from the electric to the gas. So I personally, I'm an electrician like I mentioned and I did not put in the electric instant hot water heater and that cost would not have been that great for me because I can provide my own free labor. But I did do is put in a gas hot water heater. So the nice thing about the gas hot water heater is as long as you got gas and your unit's functioning, you won't run out of hot water. So I can take a shower literally all day long and not even having to worry about running out of hot water. So this is a real nice advantage over your traditional hot water heater tank. So your hot water heater tank, it does is it's, as the hot water is, gets cooled, it has to do is regenerate and start warming up the water inside the hot water heater. Whereas what the instant hot water heater does, whether it's gas or electric, it does is it takes the ground temperature. In Florida, our ground temperature is 72 degrees. So it's got to take that, that temperature of that water and get it all the way up to a usable uh, temperature that you, you like. You could actually hear the unit coming on right and off right as we speak. It's, there's, somebody's using some hot water inside. So you can see how that works. So in my opinion, if you have the option, I would definitely recommend going to an instant uh, gas hot water, uh, uh, instant uh, tankless hot water heater as if you have a big family or whatever, as this will um, provide an endless supply of hot water uh, for when you have guests and if you, again, if you have a big family. Um, so the bigger the tank, the more, the more uh, time you'll be able to run with your uh, instant hot water heater unit. But how about if you don't have gas at your home? So that's not a problem. Contact your local utility gas company and see if they have gas at the street, so natural gas. Or if you don't have that option, you can always go with the tank. And tanks can be buried too. So depending on your, uh, where you live and your municipality, what they allow for codes, you likely can get something at your house. So if you, if you have the option, and you have a little extra money you can spend, I would recommend going with your gas instant uh, tankless water heater. Moving on to the uh, regular traditional hot water heater we have at most homes today, 
The downside to those is that yes, you're gonna run out of hot water and you're gonna need about 30 minutes to recover that hot water depending on how efficient and how well the unit heats. Um, so if you're looking to save some space and you don't wanna have uh, to worry about running out of hot water, then my opinion, your best option is gonna be a gas instant tankless hot water heater. So if you liked what you just heard, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel.